Hello Year 6, welcome to this week's book talk. I'm just going to record one session this week because today we will finish the book, it's quite exciting. I'm going to give you some tasks to do which will um, you can work through today and then on Thursday in our reading session. Okay, so to start with today, questions based on part 4, chapter 4, which we've just read. How does Billy feel in the first pages of this chapter? If you can remember when he was going off um, to find Hitler, how did he feel? Why do you think Billy couldn't shoot Hitler when he had that chance to, when he felt that pistol under, in the snow underneath him? Why couldn't he bring himself to shoot Hitler? What happened to the man who was telling the story. If you remember at the end of chapter four in part four, Billy and Ma are on the train, they woke up and the stranger on the train has gone. What do you think's happened to him? And who do you think he was? So if you want to pause the video and have a chat about those questions. Okay, I'd like us to do some vocabulary work to start with, just to check. These are some words and phrases we met in the last chapter. Talons, lumbering, hackles, intimidating, jolted. Can you pause the video, have a chat what you think those words mean? Are they a verb? Are they nouns? Are they adjectives? Can some be used in both forms? how might you put them in a sentence to show your understanding and again pause the video and discuss what you think okay in our final bit of reading today i just want to focus on the final tier the analytics tier and we're going to focus on this overall author assessment and about how Michael Morpurgo has kind of brought this book together and your thoughts following it. So this is where we got to when I read last week, the end of part four, no matches left. And it's called the epilogue, this part of the book. Does anybody know what that means? And what is the epilogue? It's kind of, it brings it all together at the end, the end of the book. Ma and I could talk of nothing else all the way to London, then all the way to Cornwall. It really was as if we both dreamed the same dream, every last detail of it. But we knew, both of us, that it hadn't been a dream at all. That it couldn't have been. We had the evidence in the Swan Vesta's matchbox. When we arrived in Mevagissi late that night, we had to tell Auntie Mavis at once all about the stranger on the train and the amazing story he had told us. We just had to tell someone. Do you know where Mevagissi is? Maybe some of you have been there on holiday. It's in Cornwall. We showed her the matchbox, showed her the lucky black pebble from Bridlington and the spent cartridge. Auntie Mavis was never the best of listeners, but she listened right through to the end, very end, her eyes growing wider and wider. What does that mean if your eyes are growing wider and wider? Is it because she can't quite believe what they're telling her? When we had finished, she said nothing. She just got up and went to the kitchen dresser. She brought back a newspaper and smoothed it out on the table in front of us. This morning's paper, she said. Look, the headline read, First World War Hero Dies in, Co in Coventry Blitz. And there was the face of the stranger in the train, staring up at, up at us out of the photograph underneath. Ma read it out, her voice a whisper. William Billy Byron. VCMM DCM, one of the most decorated private soldiers of the Great War, 
was amongst those killed in the recent Luftwaffe Blitz on Coventry. His wife Christine, a teacher in a local council school, was also killed. Mr Byron, who was serving in the Civil Defence Force, having been out on duty all night and day, rescuing people from the remnants of their homes, came home to find his own house destroyed. He was killed by falling masonry whilst trying to find his wife in the ruins of their house. Mr Byron worked at the Standard Car, fa car Factory in Coventry. He was 45 years of age. That's quite an impact, isn't it? That final chapter in the book. Can you now tell me who that stranger on the train was? It was Billy, wasn't it? And where he had disappeared to after he told um, Ma and, Bill and Barney their story. Okay, let's go back to our reading rainbow. And I said we're going to go to author assessment. The one I want to start with. So we're going to pick a few from this reading lens. This one, first of all. In conclusion, because we've finished the book now, we would recommend or not recommend this book to a friend because... And your quote, because you've not got the whole book in front of you, you will have to summarise it using ideas from the text instead. If you have got a copy of the book, then you can find a quote if you want to. And our bonus point is... Let's have a parent. I know we've used that before because we've done this lens before, but if something is parent, it's clear that. How would you answer that? So it's one point for using the sentence starter, another point for answering it, can you find me some evidence, and a fourth point for the bonus word. Pause the video if you need to. Okay, and then your next job, what I want you to do, we're starting to think of it like a book review. I would give this book, how many would you give it out of 10? based on when you're basing it on some facts in the book or your opinion of the books and we'll just swap our bonus word for analyze when we're analyzing text we're looking at them in detail can you answer that can you give can you write me a sentence which would get four points and again pause the video if you need to Okay, just before I finish, I want to share with you some writing opportunities which you might choose to do today or a different part of this week and carry on with them please in Thursday's reading slot. So you might choose to do an emotion graph for Billy in this chapter. Well, the chapter we just read actually, the end of part four chapter and label it. So can you take the main points, the plot points I just started you off with two there, like we did last week with Leon. And if we're thinking of the feelings lens to link to the emotions, would it be positive or negative at different parts in that chapter? Can you have a go at drawing an emotion graph? Or you might decide you want to write an alternative chapter where Billy did manage to shoot Hitler. What might have happened next? So if you fancy having to go at some creative writing, you might like to do that one. Or you might like to do a diary entry for Billy. So that day when he was busy sketching the eagles and then the dog took him by surprise, he had the choice to shoot Hitler but he didn't. And then when Hitler walked away, just like he'd done many years ago at the Battle of Marcoin, what might Billy's diary entry have looked like? And remember when we write a diary entry, it's written in first person, it's past tense to reflect on what's happened, but maybe present and future tense for linking to new events. And it shares those personal thoughts and feelings. Or having read the epilogue, the final bit of the book, 
you might decide you want to do this one explain who you think the stranger was now and kind of reason it justify your ideas okay so I'd, I would really like if you can make time to do one at least one of those and like I said you've got today and you've got Thursday in the reading session also um, on either today or Thursday or another part in the week I'd like you to do your accelerated reader quiz on this please and if you've not read it as well by yourself you need to ch choose the one I've had it read to me and remember the link you need to go through is through our school website um, through the library page on the about us and that has the proper web address to get into our school version of accelerated reader and again let me know how you get on with that quiz so I'm going to leave it there now after half term we will be doing more book talk like this and we're going to start with our new book Stormbreaker by Anthony Horowitz again you don't have to buy a, um, buy a copy I will have it on screen but you might want to um, and we will also link our English after half term to this book and the world of spies and gadgets and writing formal lessons okay I'll see you soon. Thanks, Year 6.